So, Katie Hopkins, that well-known and little-loved purveyor of all things spiteful, has decided to turn her attention to giving advice to the young people of this country who are considering going to university in an attempt to better themselves. You may be wondering whether you should be going to university or not, and the answer is no. Please don't go to university. We'll unpick her rather irritatingly stupid comments in a moment, but first, there are some things I want you to bear in mind. Number one, we know from decades of research all across the world that further education is, always has been, and remains the most effective way to help someone to lift themselves out of social and economic distress. Two, we know that Katie Hopkins is a right-wing, very wealthy woman following the right-wing, wealthy agenda, which is to keep us in our place. And three, although it's a bit late now, FYI, the Labour Party manifesto for the election of 2019 had budgeted to co completely remove all student fees. But let's have a look at what Hitty Cockpins has to say. Number one, we don't need any more people with a dodgy 2-1 in psychology or social sciences. You'll have noticed post-corona that actually we're going into the greatest depression in the history of the UK and mass unemployment. What we don't need at that time is somebody wandering about with another degree when we already have plenty of unemployed people with two ones in golfing studies. The coming recession will not last your entire life. However, the degree that you get at university that will increase your life prospects increase your earning potential and help you to increase your quality of life will last you a lifetime. Number two, you're being lied to about the financing of your education. These degrees cost £9,250 a year, which means you're going to walk away with something in the order of £50,000 worth of debt. Now, when you're being sold these dodgy loans, they're telling you that, oh, not to worry, you don't even have to start paying it until you earn this much, and it gets written off after 30 years, so never even give it a second thought. Well, no, do. You're about to take on £50,000 worth of debt. They are going to follow you for you to pay that, and the interest rate on this stuff is RPI plus 3%, which is madness, about 6% interest on the money that you've paid for a degree that you didn't need. Education is the greatest gift that you can give yourself. Just listen to Michael Gove describing the benefits of education when he was Minister for Education back in 2010. Education has an emancipatory, liberating value. I regard education as the means by which individuals can gain access to all the other goods that we value cultural, social, and economic, on their terms. I believe that education allows individuals to become authors of their own life story. Inspiring, isn't it? Now, this is what Mr Gove said about poor people wanting to go to university. You see, just like Katie Hopkins, Michael Gove believes that further education is only for the rich. There's a reason why Australia just made humanities, social sciences, law twice as expensive. They're trying to make people reconsider about not taking those degrees because there simply isn't a demand for them in the labour market thereafter. They're pushing people towards STEM subjects. Study what's right for you, not what Katie Hopkins thinks. She's not to you. And yes, it's true that the Australian government is trying to discourage people from taking certain courses because of their immediate needs in the job market. But as we said earlier, these economic issues come and go. Your degree will last you a lifetime. And if you think, well, this moany old horse-faced cow went to university and now she doesn't want us to have any fun, I promise you it's not about that. I'm genuinely trying to think of you in some, you know, kind of kind way about your future. <laughs> 
she is thinking about your future by getting you to abandon your most effective chance of quality of life. Yeah, right. Like Katie Hopkins ever thinks about anyone else. Because you might be thinking, well, what's the choice for me? Is it best just to sit here and do nothing? That isn't the choice. The choice isn't go to university or do nothing. The choice is go to university, waste £50,000, get yourself in debt for the next 30 years of your life and pay that vice chancellor's salary and come out with a degree you don't need. Or do something now. Do something fun. Travel. Graft your way around the world. Find a way to make an income. Go and dig, sew, carry, drive. Do anything. Undertakers, they always need people, don't you know? You'll notice that these tend to be pretty manual, unskilled and low-paid jobs she's recommending for you. Dentists always need people. Nurses are in high demand right now. <laughs> she thinks nurses don't go to university. Thanks, Katie. Think of the places where there are jobs. Go to those places and find out how you get a job. But please do not waste your money, your time or your intelligence on going to a British university in 2020. Katie Hopkins wants you not to go to university because she wants it to be for her and her ilk alone. Remember, she is right wing and wealthy. You get back in your place, pleb.